Hey guys, it's me, Will Patterson, here again with a new video tutorial on Photoshop CC or CS6. Um, and we're going to be learning how to do this tutorial, this uh, sort of art piece in the center of your screen. Um, now, some of you are probably looking at this saying, oh man, this is way too easy. Well, that is true. It is a very easy thing to do, but there's some people out there who don't know how to do it. So I thought uh, because someone commented on my last video that I would do one because it's going to be so simple for everyone else to uh, learn and it's a very effective tool and I want to teach that. So this is how you create um, basically text image. Now basically you've cut out everything. Oops, sorry. You've cut out everything. The image uh, and we basically left the text. So we stamped it basically. Now there's plenty of ways that we could do this. Now I'm going to show you in a new uh, document. So I'm going to open up a uh, 1280 by 720 document like so and I'm just going to type in YouTube if I can get the text text there we go YouTube okay now this is a text here uh, I'm using Lee Gothic again because it's my new favorite font because it's so sick I love it right I'm going to ascend to that okay what we need now is an image so I'm just going to literally copy um, this image in Actually, no, I'm not. Wait, I'm going to just paste it in. I'm going to paste the image in. Now, this is a large image, as you can see, um, if I just sh show you that. And now, this is a large image, and I'm going to expand it in a bit. Like so, I'm going to move it. Basically, when you're doing this, when you want to stamp out some letterings, uh, you want to make sure that you've got quite a large image, and you don't want to be using um, images that, you know, have got so much contrast in them, if you know what I mean. You don't want to be using images with different houses and stuff. You want a close-up like this uh, of a certain thing because then you're going to get the best effectiveness out of it. Right, I'm going to move this layer down. I'm going to call it image. That's what it is. And in this YouTube thing, I'm going to just um, change the color of it. Now, what we need to do with this is we need to select YouTube. Uh, and it's not a shape, it's a live it's a live text. So what we need to do is hold command and you go to your YouTube thumbnail or layer thumbnail. And when you get you get this sort of little icon there, that little uh, square box with a hand, that's when you need to click. And what that does is that selects the text and you'll see the marching ants. Then what you need to do is you can hide the YouTube layer and your selection is still there. Now what we could do is with the image, we could backspace, which would delete it. And that's been deleted just there. That's not the actual text come back. I'll just undo that. Or we could press Command Shift I, which will invert the selection. Which, so when we delete it, it will delete everything but YouTube. Now that is a good way of doing it, but you can't really get it back. So I'm gonna, um, that's pretty destructive because you can't actually get the full image back. So if you're like me and wanting to learn how to do it non-destructively, we can do this this way. So I'm going to press command and then press on YouTube just there like so. I'm going to, yeah, press on YouTube like there so. And we've got the marching ants. I'm going to go to down to the image layer. And you'll see this little box down here. This little box here is called a mask. Now a mask is basically a masking over a certain layer. So if I was to press B to get my brush tool out, and then select a certain brush when it loads. I'll show you now, as you'll see in a second, when I select a certain brush, if I can actually get the brush, and then just select the size of it, you'll see that I can start painting with the brush, but then if I press the mask option, and then get rid of the selection actually, press the mask option, you'll see that it's actually deleting some of that layer away. Uh, when I'm going over it. Now what this is doing is actually not deleting it, it's just masking over it with a different um, thing, so it's making it transparent. So to get it back, you would just switch your swatches around here, so you go to white and you can paint it back in. This is a non-destructive way of um, deleting certain images or non-destructively deleting parts of your design. So you can always get it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of that mask and layer just there. I'm going to highlight YouTube again. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to press this little box here. And that's going to mask everything out. So we've got the mask there. And that's what's going to happen. So then I'm going to go to my blending options. Uh, and to get to that, I'm going to press right click and go up to blending options. 
And to give it some more definition on the sides, I need to put a shadow. So I'm going to put a drop shadow on. Now I'm going to use uh, no distance, but I'm going to put spread up to about five. And then I'm just going to play around with the size like so. And this will bring it from the background a bit. And then I'm just going to go up to the opacity and change this around a little bit. And just go up to spread again, like so. Press OK. Now that is how you get the sort of image just there. So I hope you enjoyed that. I don't even know what to call this, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Put it in your favorites if you want. Share this with your mates, guys. I want everyone to know. Um, this is another video for any sort of beginners out there. So if you're a beginner, there's going to be more videos coming out. And also, I'm working on a Skillshare uh, for some advanced tutorials for people who want to learn more. Um, Skillshare is a paid service, but you'll learn loads more cool stuff about Photoshop and Illustrator and After Effects. So I shall see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.